The term fake news is a controversial one. It's often used to falsely claim that the facts someone doesn't like are just made up. But actual fake news takes on a new tone when it's used as a weapon of war. Misinformation has already cropped up in abundance in the current conflict in the Middle East. Jolene Kent has the story. As the war in Israel and Gaza plays out in real time on social media, experts say bad information and propaganda are spreading on X, formerly known as Twitter. Research group Aletheia detected a network of at least 67 accounts that posted false content about the war. They've received millions of views, including these mistranslated videos of Russian President Vladimir Putin and Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, manipulated to falsely say that Russia will support Palestine if the U.S. supports Israel. Why are 67 accounts so powerful in their influence and why do they matter? It matters whether or not people believe it. And the more times that people are able to view content of a similar nature, the more opportunities an actor has to convince somebody of something that may or may not be true. This comes after Elon Musk, the owner of X, laid off much of the team responsible for monitoring posts when he took over the company. On Tuesday, the European Union sent this letter to the billionaire, asking Musk to immediately remove illegal content and disinformation. Otherwise, penalties can be imposed. How does this disinformation impact the war and what we know about it? When we flood people with this sea of unvetted information, much of it deceptive, is we're throwing away the goodwill of our citizens. And we're opening the door to a variety of people that want to manipulate their goodwill. Do you anticipate seeing more of this kind of activity as the war continues? Yes, we do anticipate that in the coming days that this information sphere is going to get more complicated and that more actors will be weaponizing information. X, formerly Twitter, has said as of Monday they've already removed several hundred accounts, including those that are Hamas affiliated. Meantime, we've been pressing the other social media companies about this, and Snapchat, TikTok, and Facebook all say they've increased their resources to fight disinformation. For CBS Saturday Morning, Jolene Kent, Los Angeles. As more people are getting news from these sources that social media is the only place they go, this is more important than ever because fake video, no matter what it is, whether it's AI influenced or somebody, you know, editing something incorrectly, it's not news. We've it's seen not it. not news. We've yeah. seen it over and over in elections. We've seen it also with charities. We've seen it all over the place. Yeah. But it's important to get a handle on it. And maybe don't forward something if you're not, not sure, sure it's real. Or yep. Got to be careful. Great piece of advice.